OK, so I'm going to explain how to set up green screen in Right Booth. OK, so I thought I'd show you my setup. I've got my laptop with a small light source. I have a Logitech C920 webcam attached to a camera tripod. That's for stabilisation. And then here I have my subject for our video today. This is my uh, assistant. And behind it I've just got a green cloth propped up on a piece of board. So we literally have about a metre away between the camera and the green cloth. Ideally you want to be quite a bit further away and have a much bigger cloth, but this will just suffice for this uh, video to show you how to set up green screen. So, let's go into settings. The first thing to do is decide what camera you're going to use. So I'm going to use a webcam here. I've got a Logitech C920 attached to my computer. Go into the video section and let's just take my assistant out for a second. So, you've got to make sure that the webcam has got the whole of the green screen cloth in view. And as you can see, as I move my webcam around, I'm just moving it so that he, so that we've just got the cloth filling the actual um, camera lens view. Then you can play around with the exposure and the gain um, of the webcam to make sure it looks nice and green. Uh, if you're using a DSLR camera, you do the same, but do that on the camera itself. I'll just carry on with the webcam for now. So I've set the exposure and gain settings up correctly. I've set the video size, the recording size, to be 1280 by 720. You also need to do the same on the webcam photo section. So again, I've set it up to 1280 by 720. You can choose whatever you like, but uh, I'm going for those sizes um, for my demonstration. It would be the same with the DSLR camera, just choose your, your setup sizes. Once you've got that, so you've got your camera looking at the correct view, the lens is looking at the correct view, we can then go and set up green screen. That's in the overlays and props section. And here we have the green screen option. So we go into this section here. Now the way that green screen works in Right Booth is that Right Booth has to have a reference image of the material um, that it can use to compare when there are people in front of it. So what you have to do is obviously make sure that your setup is rock solid, there are no changes to the lighting conditions, and you're not casting any shadows on the actual material itself. As you can see, there's no shadowing going on on that material. The next thing you have to do is capture a reference image for video recording if you're going to be making green screen videos and also capture um, an image of the material for photos if you're going to be taking photos. And the reason you need one for each is because you may have a different recording size for videos as, as opposed to photo capture. So I've got green screen for webcam video recording selected. I just need to capture a reference image of the material now. I now switch to webcam photo capture and I capture another reference image. Right, so now we have two reference images and they don't need to be captured again unless you change your setup. So basically you only have to do this at the start of um, a session that you're wanting to actually capture photos. Right, the next thing to do is to test it. So I'm going to test for webcam photo capture and turn on testing. Now what we're looking at now is the replacement for the green screen with this image here. And you can choose different test images. There's lots to choose from. I'm going to go back to the desert. OK, let's put my assistant back into the frame. Now. As you can see, there's a lot of problems here. This is where we have to start using the filters to get it right, get the balance right to hide all of the pixels. Now, the one that really is important is the color filter. This is currently set at 25 here. I'm going to increase it slightly. Watch what happens as I start increasing it with the uh, up arrow. You'll see that the pixels start to disappear. So we're getting up to about 40 and disappearing 
but there's still quite a lot of shimmering around my hand as you can see when I'm moving objects around you can see a little trace of green I think we can afford to go up even further here I'm going to uh, increase it to 100 now as you can see there's not a great deal going on in terms of green pixels around it so I think that's a good setting for this setup that works quite well if I go back to the green screen for video recordings I think I'll up this as well to 100 for video recordings okay I'm going to turn off the course filter if you look here you can see the amount of time that right booth is taking to process the frames and obviously the lower that is the more fluent your video recordings will be let's just go back to the photo capture reference image turn it back on there are some extra filters here um, this one's quite useful the edge filter if you find that there are quite a lot of green pixels around the edges of things so you can probably just see a bit around the edges of my fingers you can up the edge filter and that will um, reduce the number of pixels around the edges of objects the problem is with that watch what happens when I turn on the edge filter you'll see that the required frames uh, milliseconds per frame increases so it almost doubles but you actually get more of a clip around the edge now in terms of photo capture I don't think it's really important how long it takes to capture frames it's more important when you're recording video to keep this low so I would recommend if you can avoid using these filters here because they increase the amount of time that right booth takes to process the frames so I think we're okay there for setup now I'll just try some of the other background images so it seems to be okay yeah I'm happy with that okay so we just come out of this and right booth just remembers all that and it's all saved so that you can use this setup now in your green screen video and photo capture events and I'll show you how to do that next okay adding green screen capabilities into your events is relatively easy once it's been set up of course you go into the designer look at event structure and the section green screen and here you can see that green screen currently isn't included either for videos or photos now you can either tick yes which means that green screen will happen automatically and right booth will automatically choose an image for green screen for you or you can ask the user i'm going to ask the user when recording videos i'm also going to ask the user when taking photos now asking the user will show another screen that lets them pick a background so in order to do that you have to add some green screen images so let's go to choose green screen images and here's the list of images that are currently chosen for use in this event there's just one I'm going to add some more click this that takes you to the right booth media library where the green screen folder is located which is here and there are quite a few to choose from you can also add your own images to this folder if you wish I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video but for now I'm just going to uh, choose a few more so I'll go for this one this one this one this one and that one okay so we now have six images in the list and these will appear in the event let's have a look at it come out of the designer and we now go into the screen editor now because we've added green screen to in the designer it's added a new screen into the editor which is here the choose green screen and as you can see the images that we chose are available down in this list at the bottom my assistant is still in the frame so I can actually show you what they will look like it's possible to edit this we can um, change its position we can change the settings for the number of rows and columns so if I wanted it by two by three for instance and I can make it bigger and so on 
So I think I'm happy with that position. And that's all there is to it really. If I come back out, I'll just save this. And I'll play and see what happens. Play the event. I'm going to start by taking three photos. It shows me the green screen without a selection. So the user can choose one. And click OK. Let's just bring the fellow up a little bit. That was the first photo. Now watch what happens. When we go around, we get the choice again for the second photo. So you can change your mind. Let's go to the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, back around the loop, we get to choose another one. So let's go into the desert. Quite tricky to do behind the camera, is this? Never mind. Right, we'll be back to the start screen again. This time I'm going to record a video. Same thing, choose um, a background for your video. And off we go. Now, as I say, this is where it's important that you get the frame, um, the frame milliseconds per frame right, so that there's not a great deal of uh, processing to do. It seems to work quite well. Let's see whether that's uh, recorded it properly. I'll just finish early by clicking. Um, the frame milliseconds per frame right, so that there's not a great deal of uh, processing to do. Seems to work quite well. Let's see whether that's uh, recorded it properly. I'll just finish early by clicking. Okay, that's all there is to it. Setting up and using green screen. I did say that I would show you how to add your own images. So I've already opened up the folder where you need to place them. And that is in Users, Public, Public Documents, Right Booth 7 Library, Images, backgrounds green screen so that's the folder structure where you need to place your images and as you can see in here we've got the images that right booth has already installed for you so what you should do is create jpegs ideally and have them around about 800 by 500 pixels this prevents right booth from having to do lots and lots of extra processing try not to put very large images in here have them around about you know 800 by 500. Right Booth will automatically resize them as needed to fit the background for the frame size for video recording or the photo capture size. So you don't have to worry about that. It's just about keeping them at manageable sizes so that Right Booth can process them effectively and efficiently. And again, don't worry about these thumbnails. They get created by Right Booth automatically. So you just need to add the JPEG images in here. And that's it.